All right, guys, we got a no heat call this morning. Nobody's home, and we have not been here. However, they were they were able to describe the the house and the yard well enough to me that I I'm confident walking back here and taking a look at what we've got. So. Well, it is a train, so at least we know we'll be familiar with this. But what he says is his indoor fan is not working properly. It's not too old. So we should be able to get this resolved for him. Let's open it up and see. Okay, now, Joe, don't get shocked. I did bring a little bit more than my normal tool set here. Brought my drill. There's a lot of screws had to come out to get these two panels off, but look at that. That's just what I found when I took this, as soon as I pulled this blower door off, that was laying right there. And this laying right there. So I just didn't want Joe to be shocked when he realized I brought more than my normal little handheld toolkit back here. So, the blower, for one, is just sitting there. How about that? And the screw we found down there goes right there. I wonder where that big one goes. It looks like it was one of these. So we're gonna have to pull this out and see what's going on here. Kind of hidden down low here. My screws sticking in it. You know, some of that's just a little strange. I don't know what's going on here. I do believe somebody has been here. That's where the screw, I don't know if it worked its way out to lay over there or if somebody left it there, but there's where the bolt or screw, whatever you want to call it, that we found laying right here goes. And I still think somebody's been here. But as you can see, Broken bracket right there. Two broken brackets. So this looks like a little bit of a problem. All right, so we see the problems. And if we pick this motor up, the blower wheel is still free. So we got two broken brackets on our mount system now, and that does look like a, a replacement capacitor but I can't be sure of that you never know what train or any other manufacturer is going to do but um, you know with with these out and it shaking that's probably what broke these because he said it would run sometimes and sometimes not, and it was starting to make noise, and then it quit. That's the symptom, the report from the, from the homeowner. So we're going to give them the option of just replacing these brackets and uh, being at a little bit of a risk that the motor could have had a hard life and it could quit soon, um, or we'll give them the option of replacing the motor and the mounts and which is what i'm going to suggest but uh let's talk to the customer about this and find out how they want us to move forward okay so we got it in here there's no sense being in the yard out there we don't carry these brackets around with us although i did in my old van one thing i did not notice when i was over there in the fellow's yard is that bolt we found is actually short and if I had noticed that I may have noticed that 
So, that is yet another difficulty we've run into right there that uh, we're either gonna have to try to run that on straight through or drill it out and get it out with an ease out. So anyway, let's, uh, let's try to get that out first. Then we'll, then we'll try to rebuild this housing and get them back together. Now what I've done is I've pulled, pulled one out of a new unit because today is a holiday and uh, it's Martin Luther King Day and trains not open neither of the parts suppliers for them the warranty or the well, uh, you know either e any place we can get train parts is not open and i i don't know that they were going to have these sitting on their shelves anyway really don't see this real often um i don't see a whole lot of them so anyway that's what we're going to do to work with and i have here a really cool Viper, USA made drill bit set to try. This Ameristar unit, it makes a good table. No, I do not sell them, I do not buy them, I don't have anything to do with them, but uh, this was in a big lot of as-is junk that we bought. Uh, but nonetheless, you can see I've punched me a little center there and I'm gonna see if I can drill through this and see if we get lucky and it just runs it on in there and if not we'll get a hole in it and put a ease out in it and try to back it out but let's see if we can get that bolt out all right we've at least managed to get a hole in it without tearing up the threads I don't I don't have very good light here in the new we're in one of the bays here of of the new shop and two out of the three lights are working and you can see our our bigger new shop over there and our office up front now up front we'll have a workroom in the back and that's where we will be doing this kind of thing this is just a couple of bays that are here and i stuck my daughter's mustang in there that i took away and you know, here's some of the junk we took out of the other shop when we replaced the lights over there. But anyway, so I'm not able to see real well, so I didn't get dead center there, but I did at least manage to get a hole in it without trashing the threads. And I may actually, from this point, take a little smaller bit just to play it safe, but let's keep going and see what happens. I'm hoping it'll bust loose and just spin down and fall through because these bolt holes as you can see um, they all come through I've felt the bottom of them they just thread straight through so I'm hoping it'll spin out and if it doesn't we'll pull it out but let's see where we can go now if we get that out of there we'll we'll be able to get these people some heat lot to grab is there so I'm gonna go ahead and get the motor out of the way and uh, then we can get this cage flopped over and make lighten this thing up easier to work with see where we can do see where we can get with this all right so I'm not the hugest fan of these blowers but they are easy to work on so I slid these clips off of it and it comes apart like that so at least then we'll be able to see our bolt there. If I had a tripod with me today, I would have filmed this whole operation and uh, maybe time-lapsed it or something. Would have been a little more fun to watch, but let's, let's get it out and move forward. All right, so thank the Lord, I was able to stick a little bit bigger bit in the hole we had drilled in the bolt and just touching it with the trigger on the drill, focus. Maybe it'll focus over here. Just, it got stuck in the boat pretty good and it drove it right out of there. So now our last worry is of course, no thread damage. And here we go. We're 
threading in okay. So let's put this thing back together and get this man some heat. Let's go. All right, so we got it ready to go back together. And of course you have to split the two pieces to get the wheel in and out. And the wheel's not too bad, but the inside of this housing was really terrible. So I, I took what I had here where, like I say, we're at the new place and we're not really moved in here yet. So I took what I had, some 409 and a brush and cleaned up the inside of this blower. And when I get it, uh, get it over there, maybe that'll, maybe that'll at least not make the air quality worse in the house. So we're gonna get this thing back together and get it back in there and get it going. All right, so I uh, had it halfway together here and I reached up and spun it and I saw the, the, uh, the squirrel cage, the blower wheel was uh, warped. So we keep those in for train units. So I had this in stock, so we're gonna put this new wheel in it and get it back together. All right, I wish I had my tripod with me today, but I just don't. So anyway, put this blower in and it is quick and easy on a train. One of the things I really like about trains is they are very serviceable. Now, as much as we would rather they just did not fail, unfortunately, I don't think any manufacturer can achieve that but I'm happy with the low failure rate that we do get. And they are very easy to replace the common parts that do fail. Left is one of those ones that were that we found left out was the one that actually holds it in. And when you use the OEM replacement parts, it really makes it easy. Everything is plug and play, as they say. I will have to go get myself a zip tie. As much as I try to remember every little thing, I can still quite often come back here without something. I'm gonna run to the truck and get a zip tie right quick. This thing will be in. All right, there it goes. The customer has a Nest thermostat in the house. So, uh, yep, there it lit up. So I was able to call him and ask him to just turn it on. And we'll make sure this blower takes off preferably in the right direction. Any time now. back on it before it sucks all these leaves in. I'm gonna button this up and get out of here. All right, so we found why there were two screws laying over there on the top of the disconnect earlier. One is the oops, compressor door. Boy, look at that. 
Anyway, somebody's obviously worked on this before. Could have been the homeowner or a homeowner. But, nonetheless, I only got to try to put these things back that were blocking the bottom screws. That's my old raggedy wire stripper. Got some nice newer ones. When I got here, these were decoratively stopping the drill from getting to the bottom. And I'm leaving just like that. Good enough for me. I don't do any landscaping while I'm here, but look at that. There's another screw, two more screws missing. So, this one's been worked on a few times. We fixed what we came to fix. And that is uh, all the customer wanted was get the heat back on. So that's what we did. So let's go to the next one. Thanks for watching.